Good evening, I'm Nora O'Donnell, and thank you for being with us. We're gonna to begin tonight with a distinctly American tragedy, a mass shooting at a school, this time at a high school in Georgia. It started around 10.23 this morning when police say a teenage gunman opened fire at Appalachia High School. That's about 45 miles northeast of Atlanta. Four people are dead, nine others wounded. Students and teachers scrambled to take cover as witnesses describe gunshots and blood. One teen texted, I love you, to his parents. Parents. And families rushed towards the school in search of their kids. Nearby streets littered with abandoned cars as mothers and fathers described running miles to reach their children. President Biden said, quote, we cannot continue to accept this as normal. CBS's Mark Strassman is on the scene. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Nora. When Appalachia High went into lockdown this morning, at first, many students thought it was a drill. And then they heard gunshots. Wind of Georgia's moment of dread. An active shooter rampaging through Appalachia High School. He started shooting like, like 10 times. He shot at least, at least 10 times. I had, saw, I had saw one of my classmates on the ground bleeding so bad. Hurry up, now. Come on, let's go. Inside the school, gunshots, panic. When did you first realize it was real? When I was in chemistry and we heard loud banging, and then we heard screaming. As soon as we heard screaming, I was like, oh, this is, this is for real. And carnage. Four people killed, two teachers and two students. Nine others were injured. I never imagined that I would be speaking to the media in my career over something that happened today, the pure evil that happened today. School officials guided roughly 1,900 students to the football field. SWAT teams went classroom to classroom. Sophomore Melanie Alvarez. What was going through your mind? I was scared because I didn't know if my mom was informed. I was crying. I was scared I was going to die. Were other kids doing the same thing? Yeah, all of us were crying. The alleged shooter, now in custody, identified as 14-year-old Colt Gray. And our school resource officer engaged him. And the shooter quickly realized that if he did not give up, that it would end with an OIS, an officer-involved shooting. Hundreds of parents raced from around Metro Atlanta to the school. I was completely in shock, didn't know if I was going to be able to get here and be able to see my daughter alive. The sheriff says the alleged shooter, a freshman here, is cooperating, but the motive, unclear. Nora, this school will be closed the rest of the week. Mark Strassman, thank you very much.